Let's do a couple of examples where we look at using the exponent rules. Okay, so the first thing we need is we need to make sure that we know and understand our exponent rules really well. Then, if we're asked to simplify, and in this case we're being asked to express it with positive exponents only, something like this, what we're going to do is just systematically go through and apply our exponent rules step by step. So we're going to start off by dealing with this squared. So it's this whole thing in the brackets that's squared, so we must go and square each little bit in the brackets. So 3 squared gives me 9. p cubed squared is going to require this rule, and so it's going to be p to the 6. And q to the negative 1 squared, again we'll apply that rule, so it's negative 1 multiplied by 2, so it's negative 2. And then Let's just write down what we still have at the bottom. Now we're going to go through and we're going to deal with the fraction line. And remember, your fraction line is your division. OK, so 9 over 6, those are just plain old good old numbers. And so we can simplify that fraction. It's going to be 9 over 6. Divide top and bottom by 3, it's 3 over 2. So that's back to primary school, right? Those are just plain old numbers. 9 over 6 is the same, can be simplified down to 3 over 2. All right, now we're into high school with our um, exponents. So we've got p to the 6, and then we're dividing by p to the negative 2. So we must subtract off negative 2. And then we've got q to the negative 2, and it's divided by q, which is q to the 1, so we subtract off 1. So what we have here is 3 over 2, and then p6, subtract negative 2, is the same as adding 2, so it's p to the 8, and q to the negative 2, going down further even 1, is q to the negative 3. Now they asked me to make sure that I... Um, had it with positive exponents, and I know that q to the negative 3 is just 1 over q cubed. Um, and so if I want to put it all together nicely, at the top I'll have a 3 and the p to the 8, and in the bottom of the fraction I'll have a 2 and a q cubed. One quick further example, if we're asked to simplify this thing over here, again, let's just systematically go through it. So first we're going to be dealing with the squared, so each thing in the bracket needs to be squared. So negative 3 squared gives me, I need a pen, gives me 9, and x to the negative 3 squared will give me x to the negative 6. And then we've got plus 2x to the 5. Now the question is, can we combine these two things here? Uh, so could we say 9 and 2 is 11 and, I don't know, do something with x to the negative 6 and 5 somehow? Now just because we've done exponents doesn't mean you need to forget all the stuff that you did in the beginning in algebra. In algebra, when you are adding, you need to have like terms before you can add. And remember, like terms have to have the same variable, which we do have here, but it also has to be to the same power, right, to the same exponent. And here we've got x to the negative 6, x to the 5. So this and this are not like terms, so we can't do anything further. This is as far as we can go. We cannot add them because we can only add when we have like terms.